Welcome to Vinsire Studios. Today's video, I'm going to be going over the Calibrate Image Sensor on the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera. Now, this is something that came out a little while ago, and this is just going to be a quick video, so no fancified little intro of mine or anything like that. Every once in a while, when you're using the cameras or everything, you might end up with what appears to be a stuck pixel on the camera itself. So I'm afraid this isn't too uh, big of a problem. You should be able to just go into the setup section in the menu then where you have the factory reset for the camera itself. And in the older version of the Blackmagic software, it would be called the remapping pixel or something along those lines. As you can see here, I'm using the latest version of the software that just recently came out a few days ago from uh, Blackmagic themselves. And it says calibrate image sensor. Now you just click that. It'll uh, bring up a prompt for you stating attach a lens cap before proceeding. This performs a pixel calibration of your camera sensor. This action will take about a minute. So you just tell it to calibrate and it should get rid of the stuck pixel. Obviously, if it does it or um, it appears to be just an absolute dead pixel, send that in to get repairs or something. If you still have it under warranty, obviously get the camera then fully serviced and possibly replaced. But hopefully this helps somebody. The reason I'm bringing this up is because, well, I myself came across this issue. I had forgotten about the remapping pixel part, and I think it came in one of the uh, patches that they did a while back for the camera itself, and I kind of glossed over it, then it promptly left my mind. So I went running around looking to how to fix this problem issue the first time I sent it in. Somebody hit the right button and fix it the second time because this thing mine is under warranty. Uh, they didn't hit the button and they showed up on my other camera and I knew it had to be something that could be fixed within the software itself. And I finally stumbled upon it again and fixed it. I'm also making this video because I couldn't find it online on where to find this function. It drove me nuts and it took me a little while and I hope this video helps somebody out there that needs to get it done and it's driving them nuts and there's finally a video that could be easily found to do this. So like the video if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave it in the comment section below. And as always, if you liked what you saw here, hit that subscribe button and I'll see y'all later.